The Liberty Figure Skating team finished their season with ending the year in the team's final competition at Penn State, where the team would have one of its strongest performances of the season, as the ladies would finish with five top three finishes at the event. We had a great group of girls coming out. We didn't have our entire team because that was also the last competition where Synchro was also at a competition. And um, so they had some of our um, skaters on the team. Um, they had great attitude throughout. We had some struggles that they fought through, finished up as strong as they could, and they had a really good, good time there. Given the odds and everything that went against us, we skated very well. We had a lot of second place finishes. We even had one first place finish in a very large group. We um, just really came together and I think everyone had season's best skates and regardless of how people finished, it was, everyone just left feeling they accomplished something. I think that a lot of people worked really hard and they were definitely a lot more prepared than they have been in the past for this competition and it really reflected in their skating. A lot of girls medaled or gained more than one point for our team which was really an accomplishment. The year concludes with the skaters finishing ninth in the eastern section of U.S. figure skating making it the second season in a row for the ladies to finish in the top 10 of the Eastern section. Top 10 is definitely not an easy thing to do. There's a lot of teams and a lot of really good teams, but it's really been cool to see how God works to help our team grow, especially since our team has had a lot of obstacles come up against us, whether it be injury or sickness or whatever it is. It just shows how our skaters are constantly working hard and just Putting the effort in and seeing like a top 10 finish is very rewarding. Even though we didn't get to go to nationals, it just shows how the skaters love the sport and regardless of what happens on and off the ice, we're still successful in the competition realm, even though we might not finish one, two, or three yet. It's great to see the Eastern section strong as a whole because out of those four that went, two of those placed in nationals as a whole. So from uh, first, second, and third. Um, they placed in two of those slots. So we have a great um, East section and we have a great program here in our section of the world. Um, always growing, always getting more skaters coming to our program and preparing for the next season. Um, but we're, we're pretty pleased with how we dealt with the, the issue of having two, two competitions going at the same time and kind of splitting our synchro team and figure skating team kind of in separate directions. Um, but we, we managed to pull through and um, still come out top 10. With the year now complete, the ladies are turning their attention to next season, where they are looking to not only finish once again in the top 10 of the Eastern section, but looking to improve on the team's standings in this section. I think that people are excited and that people are motivated to push themselves and challenge themselves to do better. We've definitely accomplished something finishing in top 10 this year, but I know we can do a lot better. And we also have a lot of incoming skaters that have a lot of talent, so it should be an exciting year. We are always looking to improve and we are always wanting to meet that, um, that qualifying a number of being top four to go to nationals. Um, and all year long, doesn't matter when it is, even during the summer, we're always recruiting. There's people always coming through our doors wanting to look at our program. Um, asking a lot of questions about both synchro and figure skating and um, just trying to join those forces together so that both of our entities will have a kind of a strong showing um, in the skating world because so, we have some, we know, it's not just about competing, it's like an overall result of what they're going to do with this when they go out into the, to the workforce and how they're going to take skating into their, their ice rinks when they get home. But yeah, we're already thinking and planning um, for next year.